I'm Lori Thorlakson, and I am a political science professor at the University of Alberta. Uh, climate change is poised to change our future in a number of ways, environmental, political, economic. Um, it's probably one of the greatest challenges facing us as a planet. And so if we fail, what we know is that if we fail to limit global warming um, to within 1.5 degrees Celsius, we are going to see um, changes to our planet. We are going to see more extreme weather events, more powerful storms, more floods, more droughts. Um, melting polar ice will mean rising sea levels, and so this will put coastal cities and communities at threat, and low-lying and um, islands as well. Uh, these changing weather patterns, uh, and along with it more intense heat um, in the summer, will make more areas uninhabitable. And this, together with drought and maybe water insecurity, will drive climate-related migration. And so we'll get more people moving from um, area, some areas of the planet to another. And, and we know in politics that this um, sparks conflict. And so um, we're going to have to find more political solutions um, for uh, climate-related migration um, and the conflict and, and political extremism that this might bring. Um, uh, global warming disturbs water cycles. We know this, it, it leads to the air, um, warm air holds more moisture. And then this gets delivered to land masses. And so you might have heard stories in the news lately about atmospheric rivers that are, that, that are delivering lots of rain to the west coast or flooding and mudslides. So these are the types of weather events that are going to become more frequent. Our oceans are warming and uh, consequently becoming more acidic, so we're seeing changes to um, the ocean life that we see there, and um, the including threats to and possible um, uh, death of coral reefs. And so it's affecting biodiversity, and some species will face extinction. So we know all of these things are happening. We know this is our planet, We've and climate change um, has is changing our future. It's it's spurred also um, global action, and it, it doesn't happen easily. Cooperation is difficult. We can't always agree on what action to take and how quickly to move. But we also know, and we have seen, that we can um, collectively take action. Um, Countries can take action and also individuals can be important forces of change so that we can limit um, the worst of these impacts.